On the eve of um, Chinese New Year, one of the most important um, events is to invite your departed relatives and loved ones to participate in the meal for the spirits to all join together as well. So what we're offering today is a bit unusual, it's a bit different to what we used to do, which is a traditional offering of your know, six dishes, your lauk and your fruit and uh, nonya kueh. I think this is more in keeping with um, what we are doing now to make it more relevant and um, how we celebrate uh, the New Year's Eve. Notice the blue and white china. The blue and white china is your kitchen ching. It's called the, it's the chrysanthemum scroll or the blue pea flower design, depending on who wrote the first book on this, on this genre. I think that uh, these were designed and purchased specifically for ancestral worship. I was told by my grandmother that one always bought a, a set that was one rank below their socio-economic status. And I think it's a very sound advice for everything, you know, to actually be humble. It's one of the most precious things that my grandmother held on to throughout her lifetime, you know, her responsibility to do these ancestral offerings for her, not only her, her husband, my grandfather, but also for her in-laws. The side door valens, a pair of them that uh, I inherited from my great-grandfather across the road. Well, I didn't actually inherit directly from him, it was from my, one of my aunts. And so, I'm, it's very precious and it's one of the few tangible material things that uh, I have from his possession. Oh, I don't have those things here, but this is the original one and it's in such good condition, it's at least 100 years old. Because I know that it was always used in their ho uh, house across the road. Now, these, were, these valances were put up for Chinese New Year, of course, and for weddings and for um, um, birthdays and for any happy, auspicious occasion. So they're not used a lot, at least, at least once or twice a year, normally just once. So, you know, they're kept in pretty good condition. But like silk and every other organic fabric, it does... Uh, disintegrate over time. I mean, you don't have to do anything to it, you just pick it up and it just like would fall apart and tear apart. The um, pineapple blossom, if you can call that, is, is quite prickly, but it's, uh, it's grown specifically just to be harvested for Chinese New Year and it's never allowed to turn into a fruit. And uh, for me, it's just extraordinary. I've always been fascinated by with these things, so I tend to go overboard and uh, and uh, use them as decorations for the home at Chinese New, Year, Chinese New Year. And why is it important, particularly to the Hokkien's? It's important because pineapple in Hokkien is a homonym for Ong Lai, which means prosperity enter into the house, the household, prosperity entering into your life. These chair covers are always put on together with the balances for the, for the same occasions. See the whole row now, it just looks, transforms the room. So this is actually, I'll put it on the floor for easy comparison. This is actually an S size, I'm told. Well, I tried to use it the other day and I couldn't fit into an M size thing. But what I loved about it are the birds, all the stalk or the heron, the darker colors here, look, the um, purples and the blues, the kingfisher blues are just amazing. So what, the, what do the symbols mean? Okay, from that, the, the set that I've used, it's obviously got the bat, the foo. The bat is the symbol of um, prosperity and, and wealth. The birds, birds symbolizes aesthetics and beauty. So at the end of this um, ritual and offering, we would be burning uh, some of the um, paper money. It is uh, very much part of the tradition to give them some pocket money on their way back to wherever they came from. And uh, these days you can buy them. I, I feel that it's great to um, outsource these functions to those that are in the business of doing or, or are less fortunate because it just spreads the work around and gets the economy going, which is what we need these days.